Hello, I'm Gillian Diaz from DFKI, the German Research Center on Artificial Intelligence. I'm going to present my, my work related to head pose estimation from fusion of key point tracking and facial landmark detection. So we have here the input image. What we are trying to do here is like from a monocular uh, setup on a, a calibrated camera, an intensity image, we're trying to estimate the head pose, that is the orientation and the location of the face uh, with respect to the camera. Uh, we have made several constraints. One of them is like uh, the system has to work in real time. It has to be able to estimate the head pose for robust large, uh, robust, uh, large head rotation. And it also has to, we have to, we want to avoid uh, trying to do this time-consuming manual notation on large data set of facial uh, scan. Uh, methods based on facial landmarks for head pose estimation have the problem that for large head rotation, they cannot provide the head pose. On the other hand, methods that are using uh, key points might have the problem that they might start drifting after a time, and then the post cannot be recovered. So we're trying to do is a method that can, uh, that is able to estimate the head pose for large head rotation, and also that it can recover in case of drifting. So what we propose is to use a Kalman filter to combine the head pose from key point and also uh, the head pose from facial landmark. So the head pose estimated from key point is going to be integrated at the prediction step in the Kalma filter, and the correction step includes the head pose estimated from facial landmark. The, the method for head pose estimation from key point, uh, we are using FAST to extract the key points, and we're using optical flow for tracking. To, uh, to uh, obtain the 3D key point, we are projecting back the 2D point onto an ellipsoidal head model. And then we minimize the reprojection error from the 3D to D correspondences to obtain the head pose, which is the, the rotation and the translation. For the facial landmark, to estimate head pose first, we have to align the 2D facial landmark uh, on the 2D image using an uh, ensemble of regression trees, trees. And we're using a reference head mesh to have the 3D head point. So this reference head mesh is, is adjusted to the user face. Again, we minimize the projection error from the 3D to D correspondence to estimate the head pose. And here the head pose is not estimated frame by frame, but it's with respect to the initial frame. So, and the Kalman filter, uh, we represent the Kalman filter with the state vector, which contains the orientation and the location of the head. The rotation is uh, represented with quaternion. For the prediction step, we are integrating the head pose estimated from the key point, and we do that by updating the state transition matrix every frame with the head pose, while in the correction step, we are using uh, the, the head pose from the facial landmark, and then we use them as the new measurement. We have compared our method with uh, other methods of the state of the art uh, on the Boston University data set. Here we have the result from the head pose from key point, from facial landmark, and from the fuse framework. We see that from our fuse framework, uh, we have the second best results for the uh, using the mean average error, and also considering the, the time consumption. So, thank you very much.